single day, there's 80 to 100 people being sick. A heated response tonight from a Southside community where hundreds of migrants are about to be moved. Yeah, it's happening in Hyde Park. Tia Ewing has the explosive meeting tonight. Two buses showed up in the city of Chicago today carrying migrants, and we know at least for the week there's been four that have arrived here. And this is not the first time that migrants will call High Park home. 120 lived at the Lakeshore Hotel in January and also March. Most residents didn't know anything about it, and this is the first time they are sounding off. I don't want them there. Take them someplace else or send them back to Venezuela. I don't care where they go. This is wrong. You got 73% of the people homeless in this city are black people. What have you done for them? There were lots of fireworks. Over the migrants moving into the Lakeshore Hotel for six months, where 300 can be housed. Also, the city says it's a fluid situation and it will need to revisit that timeline. Even the alderman, Desmond Yancey of the Fifth Ward, says he just found out about it last week. I found out on Wednesday, called a meeting immediately. I don't know what happened before I got here. But in the spirit of transparency, this is why we're in the room because I felt it was important for community members to know what was going on in their neighborhood even if the mayor's office wasn't willing to. It was standing room only inside the promontory. Residents had a lot of questions about police patrols, the change noticed in communities where migrants currently are, and the future plans for dealing with the migrant crisis. Plymouth Court and Van Buren, that site looks like a, basically a bomb went off. So I'm concerned about the sites where the migrants are. We have shelter rules that we uh, implement across the sites. New arrivals must wait 150 days to apply for a work permit. Those on the front line of dealing with this crisis says part of the solution is getting migrants seeking asylum work. Without some remedies from the federal action, whether it's funding or the ability for folks to work, we find ourselves in a hole. And despite the overall response from residents, come this Friday, that is the earliest that migrants will start moving into the hotel. From Hyde Park, Tia Ewing, Fox 32, Chicago.